Hello, plays him with all the guitars. Nice 64 Gibson Melody Maker D. This is a nice guitar, it sounds amazing. Uh, that's the out of phase position. So, this is uh, Gibson Melody Maker again. D, um, 1964. It's amazing. There's, there's very, very slight uh, checking in the finish, but not a great deal. Um, volume for neck, pick up volume for tone, uh, volume for the bridge, sorry. Tone for uh, bridge, tone for the neck. It's like switches there. I guess the important there because um, maybe more easy to access probably than a normal Les Paul. Uh, machine is a usual cheapo uh, kind of single strip ones. They're not, they're not great. They hold it okay, but um, if it does go out of tune, I do apologise. Uh, this is the sound of the bridge single coil, which is very, again, look, very pretty low output. Very jangly though, really jangly. Very nice. I mean, it's a very jangly guitar. I think, um, obviously, being single coils. I mean, the shape's cool. I love the shape. It's completely weird. This is the uh, middle section. Both pickups are. Sorry, because it's kind of uh, here. Yeah, there's a bit of a volume increase there. I mean, the pickups are level. I mean, actually, no, the neck pickups are lower, so yeah, it must be the uh, bridge pickups are lower output. Um, so yeah, I mean, being single calls and being old, it does do. It buzzes a lot if you, feel, <laughs> if you get distortion on it. But I don't know why you'd ever want to come off clean in that middle, put, that middle section. Such a nice sound. But distortion uh, sounds like this. Uh, let's do big, big chords. It's really light as well, there's not much to it. But yeah, cool guitar. Right, Gibson 1964, 1990 something as if. 1964 Melody Maker. Cool. 